Hola mi familia jacksoniana, ¿cómo están? Yo espero que se encuentren muy bien. Yo estoy muy feliz y contento porque traigo una nueva sección de Descubriendo Colecciones. Y sé que es una sección que por lo que me han dicho está gustando muchísimo. Ya que a ustedes igual que a mí nos encanta descubrir nuevos coleccionistas, ver nuevas colecciones, descubrir piezas o artículos que no conocíamos, ver la historia que hay detrás de cada coleccionista, eso me parece súper interesante. En esta ocasión les traigo un coleccionista que por mucho que le dé misterio, ya saben de quién estoy hablando porque lo han visto en la miniatura. Pero bueno, es un coleccionista que, me, que a mí me hace mucha ilusión, que tiene un canal de YouTube muy importante. Yo creo que es una persona que ha hecho muchísimo por la comunidad de, de fans y, y de coleccionistas. Yo he aprendido mucho viendo sus vídeos y tiene una de las mayores o mejores colecciones que, que he visto. Es enorme su colección. También me hace ilusión porque es el primer coleccionista de habla no hispana. Hasta ahora es verdad que los coleccionistas que he invitado al canal pues hablan castellano, hablan español, pero era una pena perdernos grandes coleccionistas que, bueno, que, que, que no hablan español y que tienen grandes colecciones. Así que, que con este invitado quiero un poquito abrir la ventana y empezar a traer coleccionistas de habla no hispana. Porque bueno, con el tema de YouTube de los subtítulos es muy fácil activar los subtítulos y enterarte, si no, si no entiendes inglés, enterarte de lo que nos cuentan. Así que nada, no me quiero enrollar mucho más. Vamos a disfrutar de esta pedazo de colección, porque es una pedazo de colección. Y bueno, así que abróchese en los cinturones, solo voy a decir que nos vamos a Francia. ¡Hasta ahora! Hello everybody, my name is Hector Bardjo. I am a collector and fan of Michael Jackson in France. First of all, I would like to say many thanks to Bader Collection YouTube channel for inventing me in your video. I like a lot your videos, you are doing a great job and I'm watching every videos you are making so keep uh, working on them it's really nice for all the fans today i'm so excited to participate to one of your videos first of all i'm a collector since the end of the 80s beginning of the 90s i was a fan of michael jackson just after seeing moonwalker the movie and then with uh, the video clip black and white i was done I was a really a big fan of Michael and then start to collecting with my pocket money when I was around 11, 12 years old. So now it's uh, been more than 35 years old that I'm collecting. What does collecting mean to me? For me, collecting items is a, a way to keep a contact with Michael to keep memories of uh, the years when I was uh, running after him in concerts, at hotels, etc. So it means a lot to me. I have a lot of memories in my head, but it's easier with the items to keep a contact with that period of time when I was a big fan with Michael was alive and was doing concert. It's one of the best parts of my life, of course. The very first real collector I bought with my pocket money was this one, the Souvenir Single Pack uh, 88. I bought it at the beginning of the 90s. It was really a big collector for me in the 90s it was really expensive nowadays it's easier to find but it's still a nice collector to have with those seven inch records and i hope that one day i will be so lucky to have the uncut versions of these records but nowadays it's really expensive so maybe in the future but now i have just that one but i'm so happy with that The very last item I received today is that promotional poster from America to promote the Ultimate Collection. It's really nice, it's double side and I'm very happy to, to get it today. I bought it on Vinted. There is a lot of good deals to make on Vinted. It was only 30 euros and I think it's a really nice price for that promotional poster. When people ask to me what is my favorite 
period of the career of Michael. It's really hard to answer, of course. Thriller, bad period are the best. But for me, Dangerous is my favorite one because this is the beginning of uh, my fan attitude and I saw Michael for the very first time for the Dangerous Tour, so it was a, a, a good memory for me. And of course, I like also a lot history, not maybe for the album, but for that period of time too, because at that time for history and history too, it was the beginning for me for following Michael all around Europe and at the hotel and at Disneyland Hotel also. I met him several times, so it was a really nice period of time for me. About the most expensive items I have in my collection, it's hard to pick one because there is a lot of expensive items in my collection. Maybe that one would be one of the most expensive items I have now. The Love Song Promotional Brazil. It's uh, really hard to find. As you know, there is three different vinyl in that series, but that one is the most hard to find. And in good condition, it's harder to find. It was really, really expensive. In my memories, I think I spent maybe 700 euros on it. It was craziness, but um, it's still worth a lot of money today. So I'm so happy to have that vinyl in my collection. About the smallest item in my collection, I have many small items in my collection. But one of my favorite will be maybe this kitchen for Pepsi for the Dangerous Tour in Bangkok. It's really, really hard to find nowadays and it was really hard to find even in 1993. So I'm so happy to have that really small kitchen. And for my largest item in my collection, it would be maybe that promotional poster it's in eight parts, it's really big, it's a promotional poster for the concert in France, in Paris. It's written Michael Jackson here on uh, that side. And this poster is four meters per three meters. And I think it's the biggest items I have in my collection. About my favorite line to collect, as you know, maybe if you follow me on my YouTube channel, this is my biggest problem. I like to collect everything, vinyl, cassettes, CDs, etc. But I think the best I like to collect is the merchandise. I love to collect every little items, every little goodies. So it's my best and my favorite line I like to collect. about the items I would like to have in my collection. As you know, maybe there is a lot of items I'm looking for, but I would like to get more items from Neverland. I have just a soap and a few little things like uh, pencils, but I would like to get maybe golden ticket from Neverland, etc. Or maybe a tote bag or something around Neverland. And, uh, I wish in the future I will be lucky enough to have one of them. About my collection, I have no preference. I like sealed items or used items. Of course, I prefer sealed items like everybody. But many times when I received my sealed items, I open it because I, I can't stand to have them just in mean condition. I, I want to see Inside, I want to open it and to, to, to read some booklets or something else. So I like brand new, but not specially sealed. And now a little anecdote with Michael. As you may know, I went to many concerts for History Tour. And the funny thing is that I was a seller inside the stadium. Uh, I was in contact with someone from the team who make me enter in the stadium for free so I didn't pay any tickets for the concert and my job was selling some merchandise 
uh, to people before the beginning of the concert. So I used to say as a joke that I was working for Michael during my youth. So it was really funny uh, to sell some stuff and, uh, and then to, to see the concert for free. I was really lucky in that time. Apart Michael, now I collect only Michael Jackson. In the past, I used to collect phone cards, stones, stamps, Star Wars, many, many things. I was to collecting everything I can, but uh, maybe 10 years ago, I, I sold everything, all my other collections to focus just on Michael and it's big enough for me to collect just Michael Jackson. My favorite items in my collection, it's again a hard question because there is many, many items I like a lot in my collection. One of them would be maybe that invitation for Dangerous for the premiere of the album in London. It's metal, it's really hard to find and it was given just for the, the VIPs to, to assist to the first listening of the Dangerous album in London and I really like it. My other favorite items would be maybe that history statue. It's really nice, it's iconic. I'm so lucky to have it. Behind it I have also this promotional light box for Blood on the Dance Floor. It was in the store in Paris. There is few, few of them, maybe one or two copies in the world. I'm so happy to have them. Another item that I like a lot is this promotional advertising from Japan for Suzuki. This is a light box. There is few copies in the world and I'm so happy to have it in very good condition. What I like a lot also in my collection is this promotional banner from Japan for Suzuki. It's so nice, really hard to find. With this promotional banner, I have also this promotional display for Suzuki, also for Japan. It's really hard to find. I really like this period of time with the Suzuki promotion. For me, it's one of the best promotion he made with a trademark. One last favorite item in my collection. There is many favorite items in my collection. I like everything, but this one is really special too. This is an invitation for the Destiny Platinum album in Los Angeles. It's really hard to find and I'm so lucky to have it in my collection. This is the end of the video. I hope that you have enjoyed this video with Bader Collection YouTube channel. Many thanks for inventing me. Please follow me on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook and see you later for another video. Bye bye. Bueno, espero que hayan disfrutado con esta pedazo de colección. Yo la he disfrutado muchísimo, tanto editando el vídeo como al final ya viendo el vídeo completo, porque la verdad que enseña cosas alucinantes. Yo desde aquí quiero agradecerle enormemente su participación. Me hacía, como decía, mucha ilusión que él participara en, en mi sección y bueno, se mostró encantado. Y la verdad que ha quedado un vídeo muy interesante. También agradecerle el esfuerzo, al final, eh, el, el no, es decir, su, su idioma nativo no es el inglés, por lo que hizo un esfuerzo en hacerlo todo en inglés. Yo la verdad que ahora me pones a hacer un vídeo entero en inglés y me costaría. Pero bueno, estoy en, es, estoy en ello, estoy cada vez intentando perfeccionar mi inglés. Y nada, siempre de recordar, ponerle por aquí su Instagram, su canal. Él tiene también una serie de libros que lo recomiendo, que se llaman The Ultimate Collector Book. Pues ha sacado un libro de, bueno, de todo lo que es el, la época thriller, época Bat, época Dangerous History, época Invincible. Si quieres una review más extensa sobre estos libros, por aquí te estoy dejando un link donde hablo de una serie de libros de coleccionismo y este, la verdad que es un imprescindible. Y nada más, mis queridísimos Jacksonianos y Jacksonianas, espero que hayan disfrutado este vídeo. Recuerden suscribirse, me ayuda y me apoya muchísimo, darle like para apoyar el vídeo, comentar que estoy ahí siempre leyéndoles. Y nada, activar la campanita para que cuando suba vídeo seas el primero en enterarte. Muchísimas gracias y nos vemos pronto. ¡Chao!